introducing the all new Osmo Action 4 DJI's latest action camera. What's up legends? Instead of doing a general camera review like every other YouTuber, I'm gonna do this specifically through the eyes of a surfer and more specifically POV surfing my bread and butter. Before we get into it though, I do want you guys to know my relationship with DJI. They have sponsored today's video. They sent me the Osmo 4 early so I can make this review video. However, I'm gonna be completely fair and honest about it. I'll talk about the things I like, but I'm also gonna rip into them and talk about some things that I don't like. So standalone, you can buy the Osmo Action 4 at $399 US dollars, or you can get the Adventure Combo for $499 dollars, which includes the camera, the battery case with three batteries, a protective frame, two quick release mounts, a 1.5 extension rod, and a bunch of screws, charging cords, and extra little stuff. I personally think the adventure combo is worth it just for the battery case and three batteries alone. So my first impressions of the camera and the build quality, it just looks like a standard action camera. I really love the circular lens. These latches are so much easier to use than GoPro. Then the design is exactly what you'd expect out of a typical action camera. But by far my favorite thing about it is this mounting system no more screwing this is a magnetic clip I can show you with a mouth mount right now or you use this on any mount clipped in very sturdy and then when you want to take it out boom super easy and yeah that magnetic function is insane this is actually one of my favorite things about the camera GoPro start taking notes Let's quickly go through some specs and features of this camera. So it has two fully functional touchscreens. The camera's waterproof down to 18 meters. They've also upgraded the low light imaging. It has improved audio. They've added three microphones to this one. Yo, what's goody? What's up YouTube? That's the end of the audio test. Next big feature is the durability. This thing can handle in temperatures minus 20 degrees Celsius up to plus 45 degrees Celsius, which is insane. I remember taking my Hero 8 to the snow a couple years back and the thing just died instantly. They also have this 10-bit color profile, which I didn't know much of, but basically what it does is gonna capture the footage in the rawest format possible so the colors will look quite dull. What this does is it gives you so much more flexibility in post when you're color grading and editing it to really enhance the colors and have full control over the image. But the natural color out of this camera is already insane. It looks very lifelike. I guess it's just a bonus for the people who are gonna do lots of editing. And by far the biggest and best feature is their improved image quality, claiming to be the best on the market out of all the action cameras. They've done this by upgrading to a one over 1.3 inch sensor. I know nothing about the technical side of cameras, but that's what gives it that insane image quality apparently. And the last big feature is the 155 degree field of view, which is the widest yet on an action camera. Shredding the gnar. Then if we talk about the resolution and frame rates. You can shoot at 1080 at 240 frames per second, which is eight times slow-mo. And you can shoot 2.7K at 120 frames per second. And then 4K also at 120 frames per second, which is absolutely perfect. So we've covered the core things about the camera, all the technical stuff, but how did this thing actually go out in the surf? I'm gonna break this down into two sections, what I loved about it and areas I think it needs to improve. Starting with what I love was the image quality as they boast and claim this thing does have the best image quality that I've ever seen on an action camera. In this shot of me walking on the rocks, I shot that in 4K at 60 frames per second and it looks lifelike. I think I'm exporting this YouTube video in 1080 so you're not gonna be able to see it as well. The next thing I love is the battery life. You can get over two and a half hours from one battery. The most I've ever seen on an action camera and I think that just speaks for itself. And then you pair that up with the adventure combo and you have over eight hours of battery life. And lastly, my absolute favorite thing about this camera is it just works. It's it says it's at 20%, it's at 20%. You hit record, it records. I've had so many problems with this GoPro. The camera freezing, it not charging fully, it turning itself on and off that I had to get a new one. The shaky glitchy footage that's ruined multiple sessions. And then my recent issue on this camera is it dies at 30%. Whereas the Osmo 4 and apparently all DJI cameras, these things just work. They do what they say they're going to do. 
And that's what I absolutely love about DJI. And I really appreciate them just putting in the effort to make sure the simple stuff works. All right, so let's talk about things that could be better. I did run into a few issues when I was shooting POV surfing. The first big one is the lens. This thing got so many water drops on it, unfortunately. And I tried all the methods, the lick and dunk method, trying to keep it super clean by rubbing it on my wetsuit. But yeah, unfortunately, this thing is a bit of a magnet for water drops. I've talked to the team about this and apparently they are gonna be working on trying to make it as repellent as possible. I'd love to see them personally make just a different lens cover. This lens cover actually twists off so you can put different lens covers for different situations. The default lens cover is great for shooting on land because water drops aren't a problem, but it would be awesome to see them even sell one separately, put it in the event combo one that's made specifically for water sports GoPros had this issue too the Hero 10 and 11 both have this hydrophobic lens which is meant to be really repellent and it kind of is however it's still a bit of a magnet for water drops so I actually had to buy a Hero 9 lens cover for my Hero 10 GoPro just so I could use the lick dunk method and it seems the old technology works best if they even just go backwards and put a lens cover like that on this where you have the option to put that on that would be an absolute game changer for water sports and surfing specifically. Cause you know, there's nothing worse than water drops ruining some sick clip you've just got out in the surf. The other issue I faced down the surf was the screens unlocking themselves. So you can lock them before you go surfing. And that's what I do. But the water, whenever I duck dive and stuff would actually unlock both the screens and then it would start playing around my settings. So I'd know where I'm doing like a time-lapse and I didn't even know. And then it ruined that clip of the wave I've just got. So I had to keep changing and adjusting it. However, I talked to the team about this. They said we're using the snapshot feature, which is DJI's version of Quick Capture, which you use on GoPro. So basically the camera's off, you hit record, there's a 2.5 second delay, but then it records the footage. When you stop recording, it turns itself back off. So it not only saves battery life, but it also stops the camera from unlocking itself. So simple fix with that, which made me really happy because that really irritated me on the surf. Now, the last thing is the accessories for surfing, the mouth mount and the floaty. The floaty actually doesn't exist, but I've talked to the team and they are making one. So there should be a floaty case for the Osmo 4 coming to the market soon, which is awesome. I was extremely paranoid that I was gonna drop this thing in the surf. So that's gonna be great because if you drop this thing as is, it's just gonna sink to the bottom of the floor. And yeah, I was, I was stressing when I was shooting with this camera. Now the mouth mount, the thing I love about it is it's quite thick. So I don't need to worry about it snapping like all my other GoPro ones. However, it's quite small and it slides around your mouth a lot. So I think they just got to adjust the design on the mouth mount a bit. And you can also see how low this hangs. Uh, so it's not getting your true POV, although it did look basically the same as like all my GoPro clips. But if you look at the GoPro one here, as this additional little thing that gets it closer to your true POV, about an inch, whereas this one is about two inches below your mouth. So it hangs quite low. I'll show you. And then the GoPro. And if we compare them. Speaking of mouth mounts, this is the design of the GoPro one. So you can see it's a bit wider, it's quite grippy, and it has this hook, which just never comes out from your teeth, which is great. But they're extremely thin, and I have snapped about five of them. So I think DJ is doing a great job making it thicker, but if they can get it a little maybe wider, and then this little hook thing, game changer, they'll have the perfect mouth mount. Okay, so you're probably wondering, what's the verdict on the Osmo 4? Should I buy it specifically for surfing? At the moment, until they fix this lens issue with the water drops, I think there's better options, like pairing a Hero 10 or 11 with a Hero 9 lens cover, so you can use the lick dunk method to completely remove water drops. Because at the end of the day, it's the water drops on the lens that make or break an action camera for surfing, POV surfing specifically. I think if they can somehow fix that problem, this will be the best action camera for surfing on the market, hands down. The image quality on this thing is insane. The thing just works, like I said. The battery life is insane. The mounting system is next level. There's just so many good things about it. I just really wanna see them make a separate lens cover, maybe specifically for surfing and water sports. I really hope you guys enjoyed this review video. Thank you to DJI for sponsoring today's video and hooking me up with the all new Osmo Action 4. I had a lot of fun testing this thing out and I'll definitely be using it again. Now, what are you still doing here? Go out, get a wave, keep frothing guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Yo. Oh, 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 oh,